questions. Um, yes, um, when were you first interested in music? Do you still remember? Uh, no, it was like before I could remember, I guess. So, um, literally from... One, one thing, maybe you could put it more in front of your mouth. Just maybe on your scarf or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's over there. Yes, oh, it's okay over here. Let's put it over yeah. there. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. Because every now and then when you turn your head away, you turn your head to oh, the left. So. Then the Chip sound is a bit... No, it's okay. <laughs> So okay. start over again? Yes. Um, uh, do you still remember when you were first interested in music? Um, no, I guess, I don't know, I think my dad played me a few kind of records like the day I got back to my house after being born, so I guess that was when I started my interest in it, I guess, so it's just been like a lifelong yes, thing, lifelong. I suppose. And yeah. what kind of records did your, did your dad play? Um, like loads of kind of uh, 70s prog stuff, I guess. Um, some quite heavy psychedelic stuff and then my mum listened to like lots of Motown so I kind of always just like sat there putting on vinyls and stuff so uh, well, what was your favorite vinyl then from your mom and dad because ooh, sometimes you dislike your mom's dad music but some there are some yeah I still listen to it like I don't know I suppose kind of uh, like Pink Floyd like I really kind of loved Pink Floyd when I was younger like Dark Side of the Moon or something but uh, Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield or other kind of classic kind of 70s prog stuff. Yeah. But do you know what, what, what interested you? Um, I don't know, it was just quite a, an amazing thing to kind of pick up, like this uh, 12 inch kind of beautiful sleeve kind of, and it's just the kind of music obviously because by modern day standards it would be considered quite pretentious or whatever, but um, I guess you could, they just went into it into such detail and it was such lavish kind of conceptual things, you could just kind of really get lost in it, so like rather than kind of reading Harry Potter books or whatever, I just listened to like prog albums. I think that's why I kind of, I don't know, I'm still a fan of a proper oh, yeah. traditional album in the sense that it's kind of a you know, beginning and an end yeah. and some crazy guys on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> crazy kids. <Yeah. laughs> so you're, you're still interested in, let's say, the old album feel? Yeah, absolutely. I think. Uh, I don't know, I'm always also interested in the kind of like three minute pop song feel, so it's not not specifically all I'm interested in, but I definitely like the whole, I think it's a challenge to try and do, what I'm trying to do with our next record, like, um, I don't know, a kind of concept album that isn't cheesy and self-indulgent, but uh, I don't know if that can be done, but I'm going to try. And <laughs>